With just a few weeks left in the southern whitebaiting season, we head downriver to the mouth of the Waiar River for the first of three end of season whitebaiting trips. That's right, we're down at the wire mouth. I haven't been here for probably 28 years, and last time I was down here, the river used to run straight out. Um, there was a lagoon on each side of it, which held a lot of dead water, um, and nobody really fished down the front. They were all further up um, from the lagoon, but they all fished with their Southland socks. We've come down today, it's probably an hour and a half after low tide. You see the scoopers are down the front there, we're gonna join them in a minute. Gradually, as you get back up the river, oh, what a set net is! Right up, let's go. You gotta hold on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh jeez, alright off you get. Oh. So we've just had a first scoop. We've set ourselves up here, just down from the set netters. There's a little shingle bar, which will no doubt be flooded in the next wee while as the tide comes in. We're back quite a bit from uh, where all the guys are fishing in the surf. It's not really our thing. Um, we've had one dragon, there was a couple in it. So let's check that out. So there you go. 15 or 20. Um, always a little bit suspicious on the first drag where no one else has been fishing. There could have been a few sitting there, so we'll have another go and see how we go. another 12 or 15 there. The um, thing that's really nice here is you can actually see them swimming into the net. We caught four and a half kilograms of whitebait on the west coast which is about 8,000 whitebait and I don't think I saw one of them swim into the net. Um, we didn't have days like this over there though. She's a nice sunny day, the water's reasonably clear and it's, uh, it's quite good to see them swimming in. Lift the net out, shake them down through the trap, carry on. Brilliant. What are you building? Um, a tower. A tower. Good work. There's a few people packing up here. We're not halfway through the tide yet. Um, makes me think we got here a little bit late, but never mind. Still picking up, you know, 10, 12 a scoop. Um, certainly not setting the world on fire. Be a long day to make a pound unless something uh, dramatic happens with the amount of white bait coming in but we'll see how we go it's a beautiful day down here it's really hot really hot forecast says 25 degrees today down on the coast hate to think what it's going to be up in town now but uh, the sweat is 
flowing freely down here. And that is Didymo. Careful about transporting that around the countryside, ladies and gentlemen. So that was a good little shoal. I didn't see it go into the net, um, but I did see it start to come out. So uh, pulled the net out and gave it a shake down real quick. Got them. Our little island is getting flooded out here, but we will persist with it for a little while longer because there's a nice shelf to fish off and there's one or two coming up. A couple of real nice shoals in that one. Um, we really are getting flooded out here. You can see the water it's starting to rinse up against the bucket which is a shame because it's not bad there's a wee bit starting to come up wouldn't mind staying here but if I've got nowhere to put the bucket it makes it a bit harder there you going Sonny? Max is in the truck with all the windows shut on a sunny day, so it's quite warm in here. You feeling a bit sleepy? Come and have a look at what we got. First two bags, we got that. What? Yeah. And I'll get you to that and I'll put some more in the net. I did two drags without emptying it. The, um, the crossing's getting a bit deep. Abandon that spot now because it, it, it's no longer a spot. It's no longer a spot, yeah, and also crossing through that little channel there. If it was about up to here. So anyway, this is what we got from the last couple. So that's Good. not bad. And there's a bit more in there. Yeah. That's that's real good. So uh, we might have a break, I've got a pie in the truck and a drink, um, and then we've left our spot there, you can't even see it anymore, it's completely underwater, maybe see a few rocks here, I think Max's little tower is completely underwater as well, um, we might have a drag along this spot, I don't know if it'll be as good, have to be a wee bit careful now because we'll be encroaching on the spot of the set netters, so I think if we, if we scoop from the truck here, about here, down to that first chunk of clay there um, and see if we get anything. So this is the stuff from the last four drags around the corner. Just give it a wee tidy up. It's 
not bad. Um, there's the odd stick and stone in it, but it's reasonably clean. So grab the earlier stuff as well, which is in a, a bit more of a mess. And obviously not so much of it. Watch those stinky ones that get caught in the corners. It's not bad. I bought this little container from the supermarket on the way down, which I thought would be good. Um, stick the white bait in it it's got little drains there so we can double drain it and it will just keep the white bait off the ice we've got some ice in the chili bin yeah that fits nice hopefully it hasn't all melted yet should keep it happy until we get home. current is a problem we'll just maybe move down a bit and maybe we'll catch a bit more but that bit's pretty dead I've seen three white bait a couple of smelt but that's about it Spot, a little bit of current, nice drop off. I think the white bait are coming up the river mouth and they like a bit of deep just to rest in. And it's right on the edge of it. We only another five meters here. I'm just going to drag it again. I'm going to go back and get a bucket and just drag back from uh, the rock. You can see just back there. We got all the smelt out of them, there were heaps. That's the second load. And that's the white bait we got.
Picking them up. Uh, it's probably less than an hour before high tide, so I suspect it's going to stop soon. But um, a few more drags, pick up another couple or so. Be happy enough with that. Just a couple, three or four, and a couple of uh, smell. going to stay too much longer. Um, the tide's coming in and the hard packed gravel that we drove along to get here um, is going to start getting a bit wet so we'll just keep an eye on that but I reckon just a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes we'll probably pull the pin even though we're catching. Um, we've had a good day and I think we've got plenty, we've got to feed um, so we'll probably leave a bit for the next guy and a bit to get up the river. So that's it, I'm calling it. Um, we did two drags in a row without emptying. Um, I haven't looked at what's in the net, but it's not much. Um, the tides come up a bit more. This little shelf you can see here, um, just where the brown turns into a more watercolor. That's quite deep now, so it's not fishing that well. Um, so we'll call it a day. We've done quite well. Um, but one thing I'd probably like to point out here is the setup here is absolutely fantastic from a white baiting perspective. A little bit surprised there's not more people fishing where I was. Um, I guess if they're catching them out in the surf there, uh, good luck to them. But um, you'll be able to see there, it comes into the mouth and it's basically pushing right over to the side directly. There's a real shallow piece out in front of us where we were white baiting earlier. Um, that's taking a lot of the energy out of the waves. So this shore here is not getting pounded. Um, there's a bit coming up here now that the tide's a bit high, but before it was great. And then just here where the drop off is where we were wading through before um, this beautiful little gut where the white bait will go in and sit there in the deep have a rest and you can just drag along there and just pick them up um, it's an absolutely fantastic setup from a white baiting perspective and um, I'd love to know how much white bait um, others were getting today uh, to see if we're on par or a bit better or a bit worse but um, yeah I feel pretty good we come down here it's been a beautiful day We've caught some white bait, we've got a good feed. Um, we'll head into Tuatapri now, pick up some sausages, and then head home. So this is the white bait from part two. After cleaning and bagging, it weighed out at exactly one kilogram. <laughs>